Okay, so we're unboxing and setting up a View Smart Home Energy Monitor. And what these are, are a way to monitor the energy in your home, if you're smart. <laughs> so let's open up the box and see what's inside. Here's the little warning. It tells you, don't install this unless you are comfortable working with electricity. You should uh, have some know-how before you do this. Obviously, the video we're making right now is for entertainment purposes only, and please always consult your local electrician or electrical professional before trying to install something like this on your own. Having said that, let's move forward. All right, first things first. Uh, so it's the uh, this is the the brains of the operation right here. This is the Emporia Emporia monitor. Uh, this bad boy has a antenna port. All of these other ports are numbered and <laughs> labeled for use as we go through the installation. Here's the QR code you're going to want to use to get the app for your mobile device for monitoring. And inside behind that are your accessories. Ooh, it's exciting. All right, so inside of the accessories box, we have, these are your two uh, clamps for your mains. The, the main power that comes in from the grid will be monitored from uh, with these devices, or I guess these clamps here. Uh, this and this, will basically monitor your total energy usage from the grid. You, it won't give you the granular information of you know which circuits are doing what, but this gives you the overall view. This is the basic installation would be with these. Uh, and it also comes with, I guess these are just wires, but what they're used for <laughs> is for your power. Uh, we'll get into the, which, which ones do what as we go down the installation. Okay, these are the little pegs that you would stick in the holes you're not using. This is for splicing uh, an existing circuit um, together so you can power your device. Again, we'll cover this in the installation. Oh, and then there is your antenna, which again will connect like so. And the reason it's wired like this is that you want it outside of your power box so it can actually get a signal. Yeah, that's everything that's in that box. See, it's completely empty. All right, so that's what comes with the basic uh, Kit. If you were to buy the uh, the entry level kit that doesn't have um, the extras that we're about to go through, you would get uh, everything that is shown here, and you would still be able to monitor your home energy usage. But let's take a look and see um, what else we get in the box. All right. So in the box, again, this is the uh, this is the kit with all of the circuit monitors. So essentially, uh, everything else that's in there is. <laughs> two of these we have one and two and all of these are you know the same thing in both boxes and these will be going into each of these side monitors or i guess uh ports i should say and you'll be able to monitor each circuit on its own so that's essentially what's in the box so let's go ahead and take a look at what we have to do to actually install it all right, so here we are at the panel. Uh, I have the power turned off, the main power turned off to the house. Uh, I've got my auxiliary light and my tools here and I'm ready to get started. So as you take the, after you after you power off and as you take the, uh, the panels off, what's really important, your mains coming in from the grid are always gonna be live. So there's always gonna be a live power to those mains. So you're gonna wanna take extra care, extra special care to uh, never touch those and, and be very careful when you're when you're working around there. But down here, uh, all the power is off from the breaker, so we are free to work and get things started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is find a home for the uh, the main box here. Now most circuit areas here, you can squeeze it down there, but for me it won't work. So I'm going to have to find a way to mount mine up here, actually close to the uh, closer to the main. So I'll have to be very careful when I'm doing that. And the second part of that is to find a hole for the antenna to stick out through. So we'll go ahead and make that hole. Okay, I've gone ahead and punched the hole out. My, my fit's a little tight, but uh, nonetheless, the antenna does fit in there. I'll have to straighten it out after the fact, but uh, the antenna is now outside of the box and I can continue working inside for the rest of the wiring. So now I'm going to connect the antenna to the Emporia box. That was easy. Right. So the next step,
the bottom of the CTs should point toward the breakers. So we're going to point this L from the main into the breaker. So then you connect them to the A and B 3.5 millimeter jacks and on the top of the important device. Okay, so next we are taking the, this is essentially the power supply for the hub itself. And we are going to splice, uh, because I don't have any open, open um, breakers, we're going to splice into two existing 15 amps that are side by side and then connect these two to the neutral bar at the top. And luckily, they were so nice to include two pieces of wire to make splicing it together uh, fairly easy. So I've removed uh, one wire from the uh, the top circuit there, and I basically have to splice three, these three together using the, the nut provided, and then I'll simply reinsert the, the exposed end back into the circuit and we'll be good to go. And then I'll repeat it for the red wire as well. And I just want to point out that I actually um, connected the black and red to this and this one. However, these two 15s share the same voltage lead and you want them on separate voltage leads. So I actually have the black on this and I moved the red to this one. So that was just a uh, silly oversight on my part, but uh, essentially each one of these two switches a, a voltage lead and you want the red on one and the black on the other. And now we've just got to uh, attach the white and blue wires uh, to the bar. Okay, so uh, now we have the hub hooked up, the monitors for the mains uh, connected, and we have it all wired up. This is a basic installation. At this point, if, the, if you've got the basic kit where you just want to monitor all of your electricity use without being more uh, granular on those different circuits, you could cover it all back up, turn it back on, and you should be good to go. And then you continue set up with the app. However, um, as you know, I have all of the uh, 50 amp uh, monitors as well. And on top of that, I have a solar system. So I want to take a little bit of time now to talk about how I'm going to set this up so I can monitor how much I'm generating uh, with my solar system and my, my grid tied uh, solar panels. Okay, so I have a, a sub panel in my system right there. And this is the cover for it. And it's pretty easy to see that I have one, two, three inverters here. The center one here, which is uh, connected. And then same with this, which is connected. So I want to monitor those three circuits and I can do that with these uh, 50 amp uh, monitors. So these are the exact same ones that you use to monitor usage across different circuits in your home, except switch the load around because the, load, uh, the, the power is coming in, not going out. And we can set these up in the app to be aware of the fact that this is power coming into the home generated by the solar system. And now I can not only see how much energy comes in from the grid, but also how much electricity am I generating for my own use from my solar system? Okay, there we go. We have, uh, <laughs> I have six, uh, all six wires uh, coming in, uh, monitored with the L towards the breaker. Um, now the, the, the one downside is now I've lost six of my 16, monitoring uh, uh, ports on my Impora, so I'm gonna have to kind of pick and choose which, uh, which circuits do I really wanna monitor for electricity use. And uh, I have some ideas already for that, so it shouldn't be too big of an issue. So I'm gonna connect these uh, numbers one through six up to my uh, unit there, and uh, then we'll continue with hooking up the rest of these monitors. All right, so I have my solar panel all uh, covered up again, and I have the um, monitor cables up, out, through, and then connected in numbers one through six on my uh, hub here. So I'll remember that one through six is solar. So I'm going to identify which 10 circuits I want to monitor more closely, and I will connect those and then uh, connect them all up to the, the hub, and we should be good to go. A, a note, however, though, if you are monitoring a, if you can see here, this is a, connected, what you can do is you can use a single monitor when there's a double similar to this. Uh, you can still get away with only using one one monitor and just uh, tell the app that uh, you're doing that and it should accommodate for it. Okay, so at this point I just want to say that um, 
make sure when you're hooking up those 50 amp individual uh, uh, monitors, make sure that you take the time to route the wires uh, one at a time as you install them kind of behind the existing wiring or, or along, make a channel for it because I didn't do that. And uh, you'll see coming up, it's a big mess and going through and trying to fix it after the fact is too much. <laughs> it's just too much. So I would recommend you do that. Okay, so I got it all put back together. I neglected to remember to show you my cleaner uh, <laughs> wires um, uh, uh, layout, but uh, it's all, I'm not taking it back apart. So it's good, it's on, power's on, the, the system uh, lights up and connects to Wi-Fi. So we'll take a quick look on how uh, we can customize this, this system to help you monitor uh, your solar generation as well as uh, all your electricity usage. All right, we got it all set up. We are laughing. Now, uh, I have what, I, what I'm keeping track of on the left here and what numbers they are. So um, this is the home screen of, of what you'll see when you set up the app. Uh, when you first set it up, it'll tell you if it's installed properly. Uh, it'll have you connect to a wireless network, uh, create an account, and, and name your, your place. I called mine residence. But um, now these are all the circuits and how much electricity they are using. As we can see that at, since I've installed it, number seven, which happens to be my hot tub, has used 55% of the electricity since <laughs> since I turned this on. Now it's probably in the middle of a heating cycle, which is why it's it's so high, but it, it'll be interesting to see how long that uh, that goes for. So to customize this, especially for solar, what you want to do is you want to go to your menu and then you want to go to uh, manage devices. Uh, click uh, your residence and your circuits and here you have all your circuits. Now I know that circuits one through six is solar power generation. So I hit solar generation and I hit save. And now that circuit has become a solar. So I can just call that solar one. So that's solar one, circuit two, and it's the same. So I'll do that for all of my solar. And what this does is this tells it your system that, hey, the numbers in one, two, and you know, for me, it'll be through six, these aren't actually electricity that's being used. This is electricity that's being generated. So I'm going to go ahead and complete all of the information for all of these, and then we'll take a look at, at what it looks like after that. Okay, so I've set up all of my circuits, and uh, if I click here, I can see that, wow, I have uh, my total usage is 100. Look at the numbers for that hot tub. Holy crow, 83%. Now, keep in mind, I've only been monitoring for 15, 20 minutes. If that, I bet the hot tub is in a heating cycle because it wasn't heated for the last you know hour and a half as I was working not that it would really drop that much so you know right now we're not using a lot of electricity uh, one percent in the rec room that's where I am now um, in, in my garage I have my uh, EV 110 just a simple wall outlet uh, car charger plugged in and that's you know it might be doing that or it might just be something else in the garage I'll have to take a look and then the den where uh, the family is right now I think they're watching TV that's one percent and the rest right now you know, the kids' bedrooms, my room, my uh, the family room, uh, the hallway, which is also my office, uh, the master bedroom, and the washer and dryer uh, haven't been used. But I also have, uh, it's not to code, but my, my 220 electric vehicle charger is actually tapped into the same circuit as the dryer. I just can't run them at the same time or it breaks the, or flips the breaker. However, um, we do it one by one and then we can, can take advantage of a faster charge if we need it. So right now, uh, essentially, my hot tub's taking up all my electricity. And then up here, now that I've converted my net usage, uh, essentially, well, I'm not sure what that percentage means, I'll have to learn that, but in from grid, that's the power I've taken in, and I haven't really exported any to the grid right now. And why is that? Probably because of that hot tub. I would be very interested to know uh, if I, I wonder if that'll work, if I turn off my hot tub on the breaker, um, what uh, there's my net production 1.44 um, if I turn off my hot tub can I produce and, and send back to the grid let's uh, let's take a look I'll, I'll go do that right now okay I've turned off my hot tub and I just want to I just noticed something how great is this you can look at the current second of generation so now that I've turned it off literally 10 seconds ago I turned off the hot tub open my residence now I can see my hot tub isn't taking a single 
ounce. Uh, I mean, I know, I know electricity isn't measured in ounces, but it's not using any electricity. Um, now, the rec room, where I am right now, is using the most electricity. And what am I using? Some light. So I wonder what that means. That means that, yes, I am producing and I am sending back to the grid. The blue bars mean you're using electricity uh, from the grid. And green bars mean you're sending it back to the grid. So right now, just by turning off my hot tub, look what I did. I switched from a user to a producer. And I think that is fantastic. Total usage, 10% of all my use is in the room I'm in right now. <laughs> and all I have are lights on. That's literally the only thing on in this room. So um, very interesting. I'm floored. I love this. I, I can see my production. Uh, and I wanted to show you this as well. Um, solar 1, 2, 5, and 6 have some production, but 3 and 4 don't. Well, I can go over to my app, and here's my current, this is my uh, EMA app, and that, that's my current uh, generation according to the app. And if I look at my module, well, look at, oh, there we go. Well, look at this. Um, this is, a, I, have, I have a larger array on my second roof, uh, second story roof, and a smaller array over my garage. The smaller array has some generation. The larger array, uh, this, this has some sh shade over it, I, I suppose, at this time. But we have some generation. So I would imagine that this is one, two, five, and six, and then three and four are probably right here, and they're not generating. I'm gonna to have to keep an eye on it and see if that's uh, if that's true. Is it shaded right now? I'm gonna go outside and take a look. Uh, yeah, anyways, I'm, I'm geeking out over this big time. I, I totally, uh, it, I would totally recommend this to anyone, even if you have, even if you don't have solar. It's just really, really cool to see where your electricity is being used.